Hi, this is Mike Maloney, and I've shown this chart before, but I'm going to couple some other charts with it. This is a chart of the Wilshire 5000 Composite Index, and what it's showing here, I believe, the stock markets have topped out. You can see the three previous tops back in the year 2000, back in the year 2007, and then the one in 2015. And uh, we've headed down. I don't believe you're going to see the market rally and go back up past that 22,000 uh, point level on the Wilshire 5000. Uh, I think we are going down from here and it is the result of uh, all of the stimulus that the central banks did that caused this big rally and now we are about to pay the consequences because they do not realize that economics is a closed system. It's a closed loop. It isn't some uh, open infinite system where you can stick a straw into outer space and get purchasing power. So this is the uh, global stock markets market cap and what you see here is that again this peaked uh, actually back in uh, 2015 and it's headed down. It's already lost quite a bit but it's got a long way to fall. This is wholesale inventories less wholesale sales so it's uh, the wholesale inventories um, are the red line here. So that's how much stuff is available for that, that needs to be sold. And uh, the blue line is how well that stuff is selling. And there's always a gap here. There has to be more inventory than stuff that's sold. There's always got to be something in the pipeline. But the black line here is this black line is the difference, the spread between these the blue line and the red line and what you see here is with the crisis of 08 that sales stopped but uh, there was still too much stuff being built for a while and unsold inventories just skyrocketed and all inventory has to be sold sometime and so what they do is they drop price to get that in if they've got a bunch of inventory sitting there and they gotta move it and the company is running out of cash they gotta turn that inventory into cash and the way they do that is to cut the price to put it on sale and so that in and then they stop manufacturing that reduces these inventory levels and rising sales reduce inventory levels but uh, this came back down to normal levels but what you've seen is that we've had the weakest recovery on record uh, since the crisis of 2008 and we see inventory levels that, uh, that we're building while sales have been tapering off for quite a while causing this black line to rise above the crisis levels of the, cr the 2008 financial crisis. The next chart we've got is retail sales uh, year over year. Now this chart is fr uh, from Zero Hedge and what you see here is that retail sales as of the end of 2015, we don't have the data here for January yet, but it's very rare that, that you see it dip down to these levels unless we're in a, in a recession and coming out of a recession. There's only a few times when it dips down to these levels. So this is an indicator flashing that we are either in a recession now or about to go into a recession. And then this is industrial production year over year. And what you see here is that except for when we're coming out of a recession, like right here, it's never below this zero line here. It's never down at these levels unless we are in a recession. And so this is saying that we've already entered a recession. I've said in videos in the past that recession is a trailing indicator. It's a lagging indicator. They have to have two quarters of economic data that show GDP contraction for two quarters in a row before they announce that we're in a recession. So when they announce that we're in a recession, it means that we've been in it for six months already. So this is contracting uh, and it's in recession levels. This is US economic activity. And what you see here is a zero line. And again, the gray bars are recession bars. And we're down at levels that there are a couple of times in history where we've been down in these levels where there wasn't a recession, but it's very rare. And when you couple this with the other pieces of data, it is saying that we are in a recession right now. 
Uh, in a recession, GDP contracts, companies don't sell as much goods. Uh, when companies don't sell as much goods, their earnings go down and they start missing their earnings reports and that causes a stock sell-off. That is the beginning of a stock market crash. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.